Hi there everyone, welcome to my channel, JNC Creates. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Jackie McKissick and for today's project I am just going to play. I Before I left for holiday, I, well actually I created these two when I come back. Whenever I'm not got no mojo or anything, all I do is get my stamps and my inks and my sprays out and I play and make backgrounds. So I have backgrounds galore sitting here. I like that one and that one and that one. I don't like that one. That was just three strips of foil. I didn't like that one. That's just for cutting some. So, and that's one of the tonic cards. So, when I went on holiday, I did took some watercolour pens, pencils and a blender pen and did some colouring. So what I'm going to do today is make some cards. I'm going to find images to match. To match. I want something big to match. And what I'm going to be doing is just, I'll be getting up and down to find dies and things to die cut. So if it stops and starts, that's why um, um, I'm not really wanting to bore you with a video that takes forever. So anyway, I think I'd like that one there. And then it could fit on there. And then I've had a bit of gold foil in round there. Like that. And then if I did a gold die cut and cut that, put that on a white background. So I think that would be my first idea. That would be number one. And, 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 and. It kind of looks like jungle vines, doesn't it? Could I put my my little explorers onto that one? Like that. And get a nice die cut. And get a nice sentiment. That might be number two. So, that's, that's the way the cookie's going to crumble. I, I, I have done these long form ones. Um... Uh, but I'm going to do them, I have an idea for them, it's a different kind of card altogether, it's a interactive card I think is what they call them. So anyway, I have, I have, this is like a Christmassy one, do you have any Christmassy ones? There's a wee Christmas one. There's a Christmas tree and there's a penguin. Okay, any more? You see, I've got a, I've got a beach themed set like them. Them's all beach themed. And them's just pretty. Them's just pretty. And this is another beachy one. Beachy. And that's one of the Stampin' Up ones. And that's beachy. Those are beachy and this. Oh my god, I have enough beachy stuff to start a shop with. And that's like a camping one. More beachy. More dragons. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is go and find a dye. That one's not coloured, or is it? Oh yes it is. I'm going to find a dye that I'm going to put that I'm going to put my dragons onto, so I'll be back in a jiff. Okay, so this is what I've done. With this this background I made with that's actually made with foil. And it was five and a quarter by five and a quarter. So I cut a bit of foil card that's five and a half by five and a half. And that's going to sit on there. These are tonic card bases that came in the monthly craft kit and then I took this die, I actually have the name of it for a change I don't, I didn't used to do videos so I never bothered naming my stuff but I have the name of this one it's called Copenhagen and it's from the Scandinavian collection and I took 
the eight side one and cut it out of my piece of foil card and then I took the inside one and cut it out in white and I am hoping cross one's fingers and hold one's brace oops I'm hoping once I put that away before it gets lost come on thank you that my my picture is going to sit on there and that that will be enough white for it to stand out so what do we think can we get away with that I'm not sure I'm happy with that back to the drawing board right so I've taken this is a tonic scallop square. It's number six from the outside. Okay, and I'm not, these were scalloped ones from tonic two, but I'm not sure what they're called. I've taken the third one. But I think, I think they're threaded scallops, something to do with that. You could put threads through them. Which I have neither the time, the energy, or the interest in doing. So my thingy me jig is going on there. And I'm wondering should I make that into a little background? Should I put some green and blue ink on? Would that look better? Okay, I might try that and see. Okay, so I've got some distress inks here, one in tumble glass and one in evergreen bow. And I'm going to start at the bottom and just put a little bit of green ink on. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to put some on lightly, very, very lightly at the top, and then I'm going to put some. Um, clouds on okay that okay now do we look better oh yes I like that okay we'll go with that one tumble glass and evergreen bow can go over there you see this is how I make my cards that's why I'm doing this This is the madness that is card creating. Right, let's clean up as we go along so that our white bits don't get muggy. I love that little ink blending mat. I bought that at the very start of my crafting career, 10 years ago at least. Right? Where's the glue? Let's unstick our glue. You can see how we got on. Yep, enjoy. Okay. When all else fails, poke a hole in it. I hope that works. Which it's not doing a very good job at the minute. Right. So I want to put my man and woman up on stilts then. Yeah. 
Change some stilts. Some stickies. Icky, icky, it's all sticky. And I promise I did not teach my grandson to put, to say bloody Nora today. <laughs> Okay, I might have done accidentally. Accidentally, or as David will probably tell me, accidentally on purpose. But it wasn't on purpose. You know, red things always sound so much funnier when they come from children. Thankfully it wasn't anything worse than that. Let's split up the sticky. On the day we fell on us. On the day we fell on us. Oops, don't want that bit. Wrong bit, Jackie. That bit. See, this is what happens when you can't see properly. Do you know that I craft with one eye closed? My left eye is much worse than my right eye. And if I open both my eyes, I can see absolutely zilch. But if I keep my left eye closed and my right eye open, I can see enough to craft. And that just goes to prove how good crafting is for you. Where you would do anything to keep it going. I absolutely love crafting. I think crafting is what saved my life after I had a brain hemorrhage. Oh, that bit came off. Ah. You see, they're so sticky that they're sticking to the back. And, and I can't get nothing off. It's like a day's work just to take the back and off. Oops. Itchy nose. So I'm going to do an unboxing later. I came home from holiday and I was... I hadn't... I hadn't been crafting for 10 days apart from a bit of colouring in and I... So I went online and did some shopping. <laughs> so I have a box come today from Stampin' Up. I got some long fawn stamps. That was those ones there. I got those ones. They were here when I came back from holiday. Right. I'm putting this so that I can... Now those two little dragons here are from uh, an online site called Dragon's Lair Design that I used to be a design team member for and they're digital downloads and I just love dragons so it was like meant to be Right, now we're going to put this bit on here, like this. We're going to put this up on stilts. Just a 
ever had. I wanna hold, I wanna hold, teenage kicks, right? I can hear the radio. That shall do that one. And we'll put some, we'll put some of this on here. Obviously that bit of card has been uh, liberated from something else. Waste not, want not. Crafter's motto. I have to say, I'm, I'm getting used to living with my daughter in the house again. I'm trying to get used to living with my daughter in the house again. She comes in one morning and says, Mummy, and I says, What? She says, Craft quietly. <laughs> oh my word, craft quietly. So I'm doing my videos in the afternoon when I know that she's up instead of the middle of the night when I know she's not. Right, stand up and do it right. No, I can't see nothing. Right, I'm going to take this over here. Okay, that's as good as it gets when your eyesight sucks. But not too shabby at all. So then I'm going to put this on here now. Am I doing am I doing these or am I doing glue? Apparently I'm doing these because I'm starting it without even thinking. I'll be glad when all these sticky pads are used up. So begin to do my noggin in. On the day we fail that up. Right. Grandson day tomorrow again. Although he was here this morning for an hour and I was here yesterday for an hour. And I was here on Monday for three hours. <laughs> you know, one day David and I are going to get out of bed and he's going to be standing at the front door with a suitcase saying, Granny and Banda, I'm coming to live with you. How old he will be is... Up for debate. I'd be lucky if he gets to 11 or 12 before it happens. <laughs> but he can't come and live here. He's not getting my craft room. My craft room's my craft room. Jade's, in, Jade's moved back home and she's in the, in the smaller bedroom of the house. And my craft room's in the second biggest bedroom. And you know, if if she asked me to swap, I would. But she wouldn't ask me. So she wouldn't. This is monotonous taking all these off, isn't it? What about if we take every other one off? It doesn't matter if they're all off, as long as they're there for, as long as the outside ones are off. The metal ones can be for support. If 
Come on. Right, what way do we want this like that? What way is up? Right, then that one's going to go on there, and then we need to think about a sentiment. One along the bottom here, maybe. I'll not stick that on. I'll go and find a sentiment and be back in a jiff. Right, I'm going to use this sentiment for making cards 14th. Number 14 on August 2018 and it says you're so cute and I'm going to use that because my little dragon's cute. So what I'm going to do is cut a strip of card. I'm going to stick this down. If I can get it up that is. Oh, come on. TJ says that a lot too. Every time he says it, David looks at me and I says, well, what am I supposed to say? Oh, come on. Come on, that's all right. At least it's nothing bad. Grandchildren pick up things far too easily. <laughs> And he goes to school on Wednesday, his first day in P1. Oh my word, I can't believe he's in P1 already. He grew up far too quickly, in my opinion. There. They can't wait to grow up and you're sitting there saying, and would you slow down? Wake up and smell the roses. Right, I'm going to do it with this machine here. Get me a wee stamp. Oh, this wee stamp set's really cute. It's got teddy bears. Three, four, five, six, seven teddy bears. And a balloon and presents. I haven't used it yet apart from the sentiments. Right. Now I put my head in the way. Now I've got grey hairs, too bad. <laughs> I can't get it. I can't see. Come on. Right, that's as good as it gets. Right. Black ink. You're so cute. It's a bit crooked, but good enough for me. Why is that dry already? Because that's the wrong one. That's the one I want there. Okay. Take you off. Take you off. Put you away. And put my sentiment back. You're so cute. Where's the wrapper? One of Anne Melvin's genius handmade wrappers. Right now, we're going to do you there, and then we're going to do you there. Maybe I should have stamped that in gold. Oops. Okay. Okay. Amendment. I went and did it in gold. I think that's better. Now, 
do I want to cut it straight or do I want to do I want to um flag it this is what I was looking for I knew the word was in there somewhere unfortunately when you get older words seem to disappear from your vocabulary And it takes ages to re recollect them again. Right. No, I think I'm going to cut it straight. Like that. I think I'm happy with that, like that. So that means I'll have to do this. And I have to clean these scissors now because they're all sticky. Right. One, two, skip a few, 99, 100. That's what I'm trying to teach TJ now. <laughs> Just for fun. He can count, he can count, and he can write, he knows his name, he can spell his name, and he's not even at school yet. Children are like that nowadays, they're more, parents are more educate and education minded thankfully my kids were smart enough without having a of course, although my son has absolutely no common sense never had never will have even at the age of 33 until he knew he was more bothered than both the girls together. Anyway, that is my first card. I actually meant to make two, but I think uh, by the time I got through that one, the next one will have to go to another video. So, thanks for stopping by. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Check out the giveaway video. And I'll see you next time. Jackie out.